Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. A McKinney father is facing capital murder charges after his son was found dead with multiple stab wounds. It happened yesterday evening in a neighborhood near Highway 380 and Custer Road. Fox 4's David Centendry is in McKinney tonight with more David. Well, Peyton, the nine-year-old was a student of Prosper ISD, according to McKinney Police Department. It happened at this home behind me, just over my left shoulder, where there is a vehicle still in the driveway. I spoke to a neighbor just a little bit ago, and he tells me about an hour before police arrived yesterday, he actually spoke with the father. He says the father had just picked the son up from school, the kid went inside, and they had a normal conversation out in the driveway. He said nothing seemed abnormal, just business as usual. And then about an hour later, there was that frantic scene. There was screaming, there was yelling. Police officers arrived. And now, while the father is in a hospital after reportedly turning a knife on himself, people are just trying to figure out how he could allegedly take the life of his own nine-year-old son. McKinney Police Department investigators are working to find out why a father allegedly stabbed his nine-year-old son to death Friday afternoon. Yeah, I mean, I was walking the dog earlier, <clears throat> and I did see the mother, and she was very upset. Neighbor Terry D'Alessandro recalls the horrifying scene where flowers now lie off Anson Court. She says the child's mother was trying to get help. You know, like I said, when I first walked by, she was over at the neighbors crying, and she came back over to the house and was knocking at the door frantically yelling. I couldn't understand what she was saying. McKinney police, in a video posted to Facebook, say a neighbor called 911. The caller stated that a woman had found her son unconscious and bleeding inside of the residence. Officers arrived arrived at the home, but it was too late. Officers forced entry into the location and located the woman's husband in the act of inflicting self-harm with a knife. Officers also discovered the child in the garage with multiple stab wounds. The child was pronounced dead at the scene. A capital murder charge against the father is pending while he's being treated in a hospital, according to the department. It's unclear what led the father to allegedly commit such a gruesome murder against his nine-year-old son. We're just all devastated for a young child like that. The department tells Fox 4, prior to Friday, there's no history of 911 calls to the family's home and no history of Child Protective Services being involved. You know, it's very heartbreaking. We, you know, we're sending prayers to the mother and, you know, I, you know, I can't imagine going through what she's going through. At this point in time, McKinney police have not released the names of those people involved. We are still also waiting to get a clarified uh, medical update on the father. All we know is that at this point in time, he is in a hospital. We also have not heard anything about any possible mental health issues that he may or may not have had. So again, we're just going to be working to collect more information for right now. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.